Is that it? <sighs> Hi and welcome to Astronical. In this video I want to talk about packaging. Particular packaging you tend to get from, well, I'm saying China, but probably off eBay, in fact, almost anywhere that's not as reputable as some names you could drop in like Farnell, DigiKey, etc. And you get it, and you get your chips, and they come in these packages and with, attached to bits of foam and what have you. And you think, great, yeah, that's obviously a bit of anti-static foam anti-static packaging and this packaging even says on it caution static sensitive devices not to be handled by unauthorized personnel so you think yeah that's coming in a really good anti-static bag and you might keep some of these keep your chips in and whatever because they've come in them right however we can do some measurements of this packaging and we'll find out it is not quite as it is here's some actual proper anti-static form and we've got the multimeter here and as a let's get that into the screen yeah and as a general rule anti-static packaging is roughly about uh, you know several several hundred thousands ohms about a mega ohm or so per centimeter is a, is a rough um resistance you'll get off anti-static packaging so let's just power this up and um, we'll measure the resistance of this i've got about a centimeter apart and there you are, just slightly over one mega ohm. And obviously the further go apart, so that's about two and a half centimetres, about five mega ohms there. So this has got some resistance and it will allow current to got a lot of resistance. But that's about the right amount. You're looking at something in roughly in a mega ohm sort of range. So it's, it can conduct a small amount of electricity, which is what you want to allow charge and static not to build up. You come to measure these little babies, which obviously don't even look similar, but because they come packed with these, you presume they're okay, and nothing. I'm about a millimetre apart there, and it's still showing no conductivity at all. And I could measure any of these. So you might leave your chips in these, thinking that's the safest thing to do. Bang them in your drawer, which might be plastic drawers, they often are. Uh, and think everything's safer in these when in fact no it's not so you get these packaging especially when you get the, these labels on and everything well, that's going to be brilliant so again let's just measure inside the bag and i can pull it apart a bit and measure on the metal metal <laughs> let's measure the conductivity of the inside of this bag and i'm bringing my probes together and now I'm about a millimetre apart and nothing, absolutely nothing. Let's do both sides, let's be fair. Nothing. Let's go to the one that actually has, and this isn't from this bag, two different bags. Let's just check this one with a nice posh sticker on saying, oh, caution inside. Let's have a look at that. Nothing. Scratching the surface. Can't, that just comes up because I caught the probes together, but absolutely nothing. These have been shipped in this material, so you think keep it in there. I would recommend that when you get your stuff home, or when it gets delivered, if it's any of this, take it out, get it in some proper form, or at least some tin foil, something that's going to conduct, but certainly not any of this packaging. You might be thinking, I'll keep, because that's handy and that's safe. No, forget it. Don't do it. That's it for this video. That's all I want to talk about. Just make sure you don't trust any of this cheap packaging. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you very much for those that support me on Patreon. If you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up. If you liked it a lot and you're not a subscriber, then hit the subscribe. And I'll see you next time.